Nancy O'Mara, and can you tell us a little bit about you? A little bit about me? Let's see. Well, I was born and raised in Brockton, Massachusetts. I grew up at the Gold Studios, and then from there, after I graduated from high school, I moved out to Los Angeles, and I started to pursue my career in dance. Um, being a professional dancer needs sacrifices. Do you think traveling all around the world um, affects your relationship with your family? Well, you know, traveling is a big part, especially, you know, I chose to be, uh, to do a lot of traveling because of the concert work that I do, and I was a backup dancer when I was younger. Um, I think that the perks about traveling is that you can accumulate so many miles so that when I want to go back to Boston and see my family, I have enough miles so I get to take free flights when I get to see them. But I, I think it takes a, a certain person because I love to travel. I love learning about different cultures. I was in South America. I think I traveled everywhere in South America in a, in a year, you know, and I think that there's good parts about it, but I think you have to be the kind of person that's willing to travel and willing to be on a tour bus or take lots of planes and get used to airports. How would your life be if you weren't a dancer? Oh, I can't even imagine. If I wasn't a dancer and I didn't have dance in my life, I think maybe I'd have to be a journalist and I'd have to go around and maybe go to all the different dance competitions <laughs> and I would still have to talk about it on television. I can't imagine. I mean, I think about it. I mean, don't you sort of dance every day no matter what, right? It's just, I feel like it's in my blood. It's like some people wake up and eat breakfast. I wake up and I start dancing. That's what I do. <laughs> and one last more question. To become a professional dancer, what is more important, passion or technique? Gosh, you know, I have to say that there would be, for me, straight down the middle, because technique is not a trend to me. When you have technique, it's timeless. Mm -hmm. And you can do so many different styles of dance when you have strong technique. And th But then you have to balance it, because I'm sure you've even seen some dancers that are very technical, but they don't have the passion or the performance part of it. It's just, to me, they're both so important. To keep working on your technique, but I think when you, you know when you're working on four pirouettes, and then you do those four pirouettes, and you come out of it, and you're like, oh, it's like an aha moment, you know? Just the way that, that makes you feel, it's so rewarding. That's part of the technique, but then the performance comes along with it within that hard work. But I would say both are super important. Can you give me an, any advice on how to become more profe professional dancer? Well, I think that you're off to a great start because I see you all the time in class and you're always right up there and you want to be in front and you listen to everything and you take direction so well and I can just tell that you love it. And I think that if you keep doing what you're doing, and today it was so nice to see you too, you know, with your beautiful hair and your face, and I think if you just keep working the way that you do, I think that I'm going to be watching you in movies very soon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.